Hey everyone, it's me, John. Welcome to another edition of Geek and Dorks Reviews, and I want to thank you. Uh, I can't remember the name of the commenter off the top of my head, but um, this was actually sent to me as um, a suggestion. Hey John, have you seen the Institute? And it's weird because that title did not jog my memory, but when I went and watched the trailer for it, I realized I had actually watched it before. That being said, I rewatched the whole thing again and I think I enjoyed it just as much the second time. Um, it's kind of a strangely forgetful name. Um, I really think that they should have named it something different because it's also not very searchable. If you search for the Institute on Google, it'll come up, but it's in a mishmash of all kinds of other stuff. So you might want to search for the Institute movie or the Institute film or just head over to the theinstitutemovie.com. Um, I was able to watch it on Netflix. So in the U.S., it's on Netflix. You can watch it for free as long as you're a Netflix subscriber. But outside of that, it's also available for rental on Amazon Video, Vudu, YouTube has it for rental. Um, there's all kinds of, even iTunes has it for rental, Google Play. Um, so all kinds of places where you can watch this film, rent it for a couple bucks and check it out for yourself. Now, the big question is, is this a movie that you would be interested in? That kind of depends on a few things. Um, the basic premise of this movie is it's about a it's strange I don't want to necessarily say it's a game but it is kind of a game um, it's about a system that was developed by someone to grab the attention of other people and then start them taking actions that play out in the real world and they have all these different events that um, tie together and then they're those events are telling this overarching story. So it's really it's really weird and hard to explain it, but it is, it is essentially a piece of art that is made to play out in the real world, and because of that, the lines of what are created as part of this fictional universe versus what is real to the person become extremely blurry um, because you're doing this stuff for real in the real world. So... As a matter of fact, um, there's some people, it seems to draw the attention of certain conspiracy theorists. A lot of the material that they wrote was about self-enlightenment, so people that are into self-enlightenment would kind of be attracted to those um, postings and kind of fall into this game. And this documentary is really about the whole experience. It interviews a bunch of people that, that partook in the game when it ran, um, I think, if I remember right, it ran from 2009 until about 2011 when they ran out of money and they just couldn't continue the game forever. And it's really, really interesting. There's one aspect where you're interested in this documentary because of the topic of the game, of how they pull this thing off in all these public areas, and you have footage that you're seeing of it actually happening. Um, they also have the source content, or access to the source content. So, for example, there was people that went to this office building, they were sent to this room, and in the room they had a video of this kind of bad guy figure. Um, and in the documentary, you get to watch big chunks of that information. Um, so it's really interesting to see the content, how they implemented it into the real world. And then they even go as far as interviewing the creators and producers that were behind it. Um, and interviewing some people that were affected by it in kind of a negative way, where their reality really, their perception of reality might have started getting bent a little bit because they weren't sure if this was really a game or if this was something that they were stumbling onto. Um, like I said, because it was written about this kind of self-enlightenment thing, and it was written about it in an intelligent way, um, some people thought that maybe they were starting to be enlightened and starting to see these indicators in the world. Um, it is all over the place in terms of reviews. For some reason it has reviews on Yelp, <laughs> which I guess might be for the actual game part of it. Um, 4.5 out of 5 stars. IMDB gives it a 6.2 out of 10. Uh, Metacritic gives it a 55%. So you can see in terms of the documentary, it's not quite that popular there. However, it won plenty of awards in the small film circuit. Um, I'm trying to bring up the list of them right now. Let's see. Uh, United Film Festival in New York, it got the best documentary. Um, 
True False Film Festival. It's an official selection. Okay, so it looks like in most areas it was an official selection, but for some, several um, big San Francisco Dog Fest, Arc Light Dog Fest, Wisconsin Film Festival, Atlanta Film Festival, St. Louis Film Festival, uh, all of these around 12, uh, 2012 and 2013. So it was at least highly considered. Um, didn't necessarily win um, that many from what I can see on their main page, but definitely uh, was a, a major contender in that time for best documentary. For me, personally, having seen it twice, I really enjoyed this thing. I would give it 7.5 out of 10. bit higher than uh, IMDb, definitely higher than Metacritic. There isn't a lot of documentaries like this. There's this kind of mystery wrapped up in it. Um, not quite, you know, like a missing persons or a murder mystery like the stuff that I usually cover, but it's very curious and entertaining to me to see how people took to this program, how some of them, you could tell some of them knew that they were playing a game, but some of them definitely didn't. And when I watched it the second time, by the time I got to the end of it, I actually had a question in my mind of, is this film actually part of the game? I asked that because there was one person that was interviewed in it in particular, and you guys know my analytical brain scratch mind. The stuff that he was saying could not have been true. He had to be planted there, and the stuff that he was saying in the documentary had to be part of the materials for the game. Um, and then when you watch the video that they show you, it's very easy to disprove his story. I don't want to blow it for you because I really... I'd appreciate it if you guys would watch it and check it out for yourself and see if you get the same sense about there actually might be two people that I think are planted in this documentary um, that are actually fleshing out the world of the game in a way that it didn't really occur. Um, but that is a pretty cool art project when you think of how it affected, I think 10,000 people participated it, in it at one time or another when it was actually live and now you have this documentary that's kicking around and maybe it's still tickling our brains and blurring the line between reality and fantasy in this actual documentary. Kind of cool. And even if they didn't quite nail it or make it strong enough for the public to really get a grasp of it and appreciate it, as apparent from these ratings, um, I think certain people out there will. So here's kind of my ground rules for it. If you are into um, social engineering, you definitely got to check this out. If you are into self-improvement, self-help books, kind of Eckhart Tolle, that kind of stuff, I really think you're going to enjoy this. If you're into conspiracy theories, boy, are you going to enjoy this because essentially all the tools that they use for this social engineering, you can see, hey, wait, what if there was another organization using similar toys, similar mechanics to get other another group of people to do something else? It really, for me, kind of pulls the veil back on how hard would it be to get people to do something for you, um, even if they don't necessarily agree with the morality of it. That's a pretty strong thought in my mind, and definitely worth uh, 90 minutes of, of your time. So, if you have Netflix, I don't think you can go wrong by spending some time with The Institute. Just don't forget the title, because I'm telling you, it just... It obliterated from my brain. I, didn't, I had no idea what the person was talking about when they asked me if I had seen it, even though I had watched it before. Um, and uh, it's cool because you can also look into real-world stuff that's still out there. There is a website called nonchalance.com. That is a term that you're going to hear about in this documentary, so you can check that out to see a bit more behind the scenes of how this thing was put together. And, of course, the theinstitutemovie.com where you can see where it got selected for all these uh, film awards, and it seems like it won at least one, maybe a couple more. So I hope you will enjoy it. I think it's definitely up a brain scratcher's alley, and if you have a suggestion for me, uh, please drop it in the comments below. Maybe it will become the next Geek and Dorks review. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you'll catch me on the next show on Geek and Dorks, a YouTube channel. Take care.